Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I was just reading an article about discussing a new Time cover, new Time magazine cover. The significance here and what is significance in the photography world is the fact that this cover was shot with an iPhone. Certainly not the first big magazine cover to be shot with an iPhone, but it is happening more and more. What was very significant about this is it wasn't just a passing image or a grab shot or something. It was a set of 12 images of some ultra VIP, very powerful woman. And um, the images were done, were shot intentionally with an iPhone instead of pro cameras, no DSLR here, um, using an iPhone. And I thought, wow, is this, this is definitely signaling or has been signaling a shift in the photographic world and the realm of photography, what pros are using. I mean, you, it used to be a joke that you would, you know, you'd never use an iPhone to get a shot. Um, and now here we have a, a cover. So we're not talking about images where it was a quick shot that you had to get something that was happening, you know, a news event or something where it might be more understandable. These Images were intentionally shot in a controlled environment where you would normally use professional gear like a DSLR with an iPhone. In fact, let me see here. The article says that um, the uh, photographer was uh, Louisa, I think I'm saying that right, Dorr, uh, was selected when Times Director of Photography, Kira Polak, stumbled upon Kor's iPhone-only Instagram account. So this is interesting too, because uh, again, modern day and age, it was their social media, their their uh, Instagram account, which actually how the photographer got found, but it was iPhone only. So, um, you know, again, major impact of of a changing a changing market, a changing environment, workplace realm of photography. Here we have a Time big magazine, been around for a long time. You know, not that long ago would have been unheard of just to see an iPhone image on the cover. Never mind selecting a photographer who is only going to work with an iPhone to shoot some very important people. Twelve very important, um, prestigious, ultra VIP, I think they describe them as women. Uh, powerful women. Um, just really interesting. I mean, this should have, or not should have, but always would have traditionally been done with medium format or at the least... Um, some full frame gear with some lighting and, you know, some thought to it and whatnot. And here we have, you know, all shot with an iPhone and probably done very artistically, very interestingly. Uh, obviously, they selected her based on her previous work, but with an iPhone. And I just find that fascinating. What do you guys think? Um, do you find that, you know, interesting that, you know, we're not talking about a 5D Mark IV here or a 1DX or a D5 or the D810 or the, the new D850, anything like that, you know, or one of the Sonys um, shooting this. We're talking about an iPhone. Somebody's using a cell phone, a smartphone. What do you think? What do you think that says about the changing times, about where photography's going? Is this the end of the DSLR realm? Is this the end of um, pro photography as we know it, being shot with professional cameras with inter interchangeable lenses? Uh, is it the beginning of the end? Um, is it just a new... Um, a new avenue, or is it just ex the the options, the possibilities of how you might shoot a project just expanding? But no, you don't think it is, you know, anything to do with the end of using pro DSLRs or interchangeable lens cameras. Let's discuss it. I'm just curious to see how you guys, how you take that when you hear that a big magazine like Time is shooting some very important people for cover and for images within the magazine using an iPhone. Let's discuss it. Let me know in the comments below. What's your what's your thoughts on that? What's your takeaway from it? I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.